I'm Scott Allen Miller. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. I had a question today after kind of a follow-up to some talks about getting good pricing on long-term and short-term apartments. Someone asked, what would I do or recommend or where to buy furniture and home appliances? And uh, yeah, I guess that's something that people don't really think about too much until you go to do it. And then it's like, well, where do I find it? When you live here, yeah, you get used to it. But if you're newly moving in, even if you've been here for a while, but you live in a hotel or whatever, getting furniture and like the st very mundane stuff for your house can sometimes be like a, where do I go? So let's talk about that right after the bump. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, just a quick reminder, two things. One, coming up on Thursday in just two days, I'm hoping we're gonna do a live show. So be prepared for that. That is in the evening. I shoot to do that about 6.30 uh, mountain time. So that's 4.30, I'm sorry, that's 7.30, uh, Central, 8.30 Eastern, and uh, 5.30 Pacific. That's very hard to remember, especially because of daily savings, it shifts here. Uh, also, I just want to remind people that your questions make so much difference. That's what we run the show on more than anything else, especially right now. While I don't have a lot of chance to travel, I don't have a driver's license at the moment. So my ability to go places is incredibly crippled and I'm still catching up from having such a busy few weeks. But your questions matter a lot. So if you just want to ask a question or leave a comment, get down there in the comment area just below. If you're on a TV, you'll need to go grab uh, a phone or a computer. But if you're on a computer, just scroll down and you can leave comments, ask questions right there. I really do see those. Don't put email addresses in there. Don't put things that would be because because YouTube will, will knock it out. Just ask the questions straightforward and I'll respond. If anyone is looking for my email, it's always in the show description. You can always get to it. Don't go to some random place. People are like, I can't find you. One email address, it's in everything on YouTube. So just look, find it, there it is. Uh, the other thing is even better than asking a question below, but certainly do that. Say hi, if nothing else. A few of you have sent in video, like comments or questions. Those are amazing because I can splice you in and make you part of the show. All the instructions on how to do that are also down in the show description of every single episode, but just in case, horizontal, 4K if possible, 1080p if not, 30 frames per second, get the best light that you can, best audio that you can, send it in and I'll splice you into the show. It's so cool getting the audience into the show. Okay, now, furniture and housewares. Let's start with housewares, okay, so housewares. Where do you shop for them? Now, this is for normal people. Of course, if you're looking for some super high-end thing, you're just buying a luxury house, you're going to, whatever, right? You're going to probably fly it all in from the States or have a custom ordered from Amazon or something like that. So not talking about that. We're talking about apartments, talking about normal people shopping, but normal expat shopping, right? Okay. You've got a few very straightforward, but you probably don't think of them options. One is Walmart. We actually have a Walmart. Yes, it's in Managua, but if you're shopping for your housewares, it's not bad to take a trip there. Even if you're coming from really far afield places like Esteli, it's still not that bad. San Juan del Serp, still not that bad. But if you're coming from like here in Leon, two hours to the far side of Managua, no big deal. And right next to it is the Price Mart, one of the Price Marts. And Price Mart is the other big place that you want to go. They've got, between the two of them, a very large selection. You can get pretty much anything that you want. If you don't want to go all the way to uh, Managua or you just want some additional options, you can look at places like Curacao that we have here in Leon, and they're all over the country. Uh, you can also look like here in Leon, we have Mendoza, which is the local appliance store. Now, their selection is tiny, but their prices are good. The people are nice and they deliver to your house for free as long as you're buying any amount of stuff. And that makes things very very convenient. Uh, some of the others deliver as well, so uh, just check with them when you're purchasing, and uh, some people get trucks and do it themselves, some people have them deliver whatever, but you have options, uh, and those are the really normal ways that people deal with it. Now, of course, you can go look on Facebook Marketplace and get used stuff. This is if you're really on a budget or just a real big budget shopper. You can also go hit the markets. Now, the little market, like Market Dito out here in Sutiava, I wouldn't expect to have anything, but if you're going to the big market in Leon, certainly the Mar uh, Mercado Oriental in in Managua, you're gonna find a lot of options or the big market Messiah, lots of options uh, can be purchased there. Now it's gonna be a huge pain. You're gonna want someone who knows their way around. If you just really love markets, of course you can spend your day there and, and just enjoy the experience. But for most people, or if the shopping itself is the goal, you're actually there to get things and you don't wanna waste time just enjoying shopping, then uh, those are going to be difficult. You're gonna wanna get in and get out and you're gonna need uh, either to just build up your own experience, that's really tough, or you like hire a guide to take you to the different places. Like it's kind of nutty how it works. Um, those generally I would not recommend just because it's going to be a ton of work and how much are you going to save, right? It's going to take you a lot more time, a lot more effort. If you're a shopper for other stores, yeah, 
you would do that stuff. Um, now, in each of the cities, you may find little stores that have certain things that you want. For example, it's common to have a plastic store where you would go to get all of your plastic containers and things you would put food into and stuff like that. Those are standalone. But if you're looking for like your blenders and your microwaves and that, you're going to find there's a few little stores for those. For example, next to La Union here in Leon, there is a little store that does a whole bunch of like ovens and those kinds of things. Uh, toaster ovens, toasters, that, that, that they're like a dedicated store for that. They have some good prices and, and the selection isn't horrible, but it's really weird and awkward to shop there and you'll be pretty much the only expat who does. By and large, the expats are going to head into Managua and go for the big stores that they're used to, uh, Price Mart being like Costco or Walmart, and it's a regular Walmart, it says Walmart, like the whole thing. Um, those are going to be your, your normal choices uh, for the majority of people. There's some specialty stores like restaurant stores. You want to get higher end stuff. Of course, those exist. You can go hunt those down, but the prices are going to be pretty high. And of course, you can ship in individual items that make sense for you from the U.S. That's that's pretty much what people do. Like you live with a much smaller selection. You put up with the things you're able to buy in the country but it makes the whole experience just that much easier. You don't have to uh, do anything weird. You're not getting equipment that no one can fix or that is super expensive because the things that are gonna be at Walmart and Price Mart, they're gonna be your best value because they're the things that are coming in in large bulk orders and, and have been pre-selected to make sense for what we do in the country. So yeah, housewares are one of those things where your selection is way smaller than we're used to in the United States, especially, but in a lot of other countries, you're used to this just giant selection. You walk in, there's a hundred toasters in your local store. You're not gonna find that. But then again, who cares, right? You're, it's going to make your toast hot. So just pick the one that's the right size at the place that you want to do. I actually do a lot of shopping at Mendoza when I'm doing stuff because they do have uh, good prices and I really like the people there. Um, but an uh, important thing that's different, if you're going to Price Mart, you're going to get a warranty. If you're going to someplace like Mendoza, they will open it up, plug it in, let you test it. They will do everything that they can to make sure that it really works. But once you take it home, it's yours. Uh, don't try to bring it back. So you save money on that. It's a little bit more effort, but you lose that warranty. If you were never going to use that warranty, even if the item broke, Mendoza is probably your better value. If you really depend on those warranties, then Price Mart and Walmart are going to be uh, better values for you there. So the next thing is furniture. So if you really want to get good value in furniture, you got to buy stuff that's made in Nicaragua. Nicaragua is a big furniture making country. They manufacture it here and they ship it all over the world. A lot of it's consumed locally, but a lot ships out as well. So you can go get a lot of good furniture here at good prices. It takes a bit more effort. And I have an episode where we went and did that. And all of our furniture that we've purchased here is all custom made here in country. And we got really good value on it. And you can get really high end. You can get really practical. Some of it's really cheap. Certainly some of it's quite expensive expensive, but you can get a range. But no matter what, you're going to get good value on it as long as you're not getting gringo priced. And normally, if you're going to the right places to buy it, you're not really looking at too bad of gringo pricing because they know that by the nature of you being in that spot, you know that the prices are supposed to be pretty good and that you're dealing directly with the manufacturer and they've got lots of competitions. And if they try to, you know, overprice you, you're just going to go next door. Um, and not that the one next door is as good, like there is differentiation, but you don't know what that differentiation is as an outside buyer. So they depend on the pricing being pretty standard and the quality being pretty standard. Of course, if someone's really bad, they would get run out of town. But in general, um, you can do really well. So that's one way to go. If what you want to do is actually go and do that shopping, head out and go to locally made furniture shops, go to the manufacturers themselves, get custom made or get what they've already made but have in stock uh, and purchase that way the way that many Nicaraguans do, then what you want to do is head out to the village of Mazatepe. This is one of the witch villages or the white villages, the Pueblos Blancos that are located south of Messiah. This is a very heavily populated region south of Managua, Messiah and Granada where their uh, department Mentos come together south of the volcano. This is an area that is blanketed with good sized villages that run from one into another and then on their south side run into the region of Carrasso. So this is some of the heaviest population in the country, but an area with no real cities of its own. So it's not very well known to outsiders, but to Nicaraguans, it is the heartland of the country. It is where the bulk of the population that isn't in a city lives. It's a completely different lifestyle than you see in this part of the country, and it's really interesting and special. And in the middle of that is the village of Massatepe, famous for being the center for furniture making. If you are a Nicaraguan and you want to make furniture, you want to have any success at that, you are going to move your shop to Massatepe, or at least have something there to represent you because everyone knows you go to Massatepe in order to do furniture shopping for Nicaraguan furniture. It doesn't matter where you come from, that's where you have to be if you're going to have a presence in that market. Kind of like if you want to do country music in the United States, yes, you can do it anywhere. You can be from anywhere, but chances are you're going to want to move to Nashville if you want to be successful and have 
the right contacts, meet the right people, and know that the right people are going to find you there. So Masatepe is the hub for that in Nicaragua, and it is a hub. There are so many places making furniture. You can just drive through town, stop anywhere, and start talking to people. See things sitting out by the road, stop in, ask them what they have, they'll show you around. It's very cool. It's a neat experience. If you're a tourist and you just want to learn more about Nicaragua, it's a great area to go through. It's a beautiful area. It's so different than so much of the country. We're used to these wide open towns like Leon and its countryside around it, or the mountains in the north, or the cities like Granada, Masaya, and Managua. But when you go south into this area of the Pueblos Blancos, you have a very different feel because it's all just villages, but kind of sprawling from one to another, but nothing feels like a city. It's so unique and it's such a beautiful area and it has some really important stuff besides the shopping and there's a lot of cool shopping and each village has its own thing that you can buy there but it's also the area near the Laguna de Apoyo it is on the south side of the volcano it's on the south side of Lago Masaya it is where um, you have the Catarina Overlook and, and Mirador and stuff like that there's a lot of cool stuff a lot of reasons to go out into that area if you have enough time but it's a little bit harder to explore the public transportation isn't so easy to get around you can't just walk it's pretty far uh, so it, it presents a little bit of a challenge. If you're looking for furniture though, this is where you need to go and just show up and you can shop around and you can get from really cheap to really expensive and everything in between. And it's, it's a really cool experience. And we did that a number of times. We've done it ourselves. We've taken some friends to go shopping there and uh, it, it's just been, it's been great. You can also do your furniture shopping in like Managua and Messiah, but you're going to pay massively higher because everyone in Nicaragua knows you go to the, the Pueblos Blancos in order to do your shopping. So anyone who's doing it in Managua is either so premium that they have no need to go and like I'm going to pay extra to stop from driving 30 minutes to go uh, to the villages or they aren't, they aren't aware of Nicaragua they haven't talked to people and so they have kind of a, a market and they go after that so if you're getting locally made and it's not in Mazatepe expect you're going to pay easily triple not kidding it could be that much more um, so yeah, it's a serious luxury to not go to Masatepe. If what you're interested in is just normal furniture, not Nicaraguan made furniture, you're gonna pay for cheaper stuff that's been brought in from abroad, then you've got options pretty much anywhere. Here in uh, Leon, of course, you can go, there's some little furniture stores around town, just look them up on a map or ask someone, they might know where one is, but even the locals tend not to know too much about them. Curacao, again, just like they have home appliances, has furniture. They're a uh, California company, they're the ones that own Radio Shack, uh, so if you're getting stuff there, it's going to be stuff that seems very familiar. Price Mart also has furniture. I imagine Walmart does, but I have not checked that here. I know in the U.S. they do. Um, you can go to uh, normal furniture stores in some of the more expensive areas. I don't know of a dedicated furniture store here in Leon. That's what you would consider an upscale furniture store. There's like little on the street furniture stores. Sometimes they're just houses that have a lot of furniture. They open it up and put it on the street for you to see. But sometimes there's like little furniture shops. There's, there are little places making furniture uh, out here. If you can find an actual factory, then you can get good prices. Uh, what you might do, though, is I know like in the Galerias in Managua, there's a really nice high-end uh, furniture and home furnishings uh, store there in the mall, and there's some on the Carretera Masaya near uh, the, the Metro Centro, um, and you can just wander up and down or drive up and down uh, the street there and look for the home uh, decor stuff, and that's where you're going to get your fancier furniture, your, your stuff that's definitely imported, uh, potentially things from Europe, potentially things from the United States, probably quite a bit from Asia as well. And you can get all that like fancy stuff that, that would be very difficult to manufacture locally because locally everything's handmade. And if you want things that are manufactured like modern, like really, really modern designs, they're probably going to come from abroad. Uh, all that's pretty much available. Your selection is definitely quite limited. Uh, and if you want to go beyond local or beyond real basic, like you're going to get a Curacao, definitely going to pay a premium. Even at Curacao, you're going to pay a premium over the U.S., but it's not going to be bad. But they're also going to have a pretty small selection. We've bought stuff at Curacao, absolutely fine, right? It's not a problem. It's definitely a good option. Uh, they're at the mall here in Leon. Um, and they're they're in most of the cities there, and they're also downtown here. Uh, so those are kind of the places you're likely to want to go shop. Now, of course, furniture is not something you want to bring in from abroad. Furniture is just not something that you want to spend that kind of money on. It doesn't make sense unless you're an antique collector and it's just it, money doesn't matter to you. Outside of that, furniture should be comfortable, functional, and cost effective. And of course, it has to look nice and, and it, you want to have good furniture but it's not like sports cars that may appreciate over time like it's just not like that right it makes sense to get things that that are just practical to a certain degree and so working with what nicaragua has to offer at the stores that make sense is the thing to do once you want to go beyond the basics 
definitely head to Massatepe and check out what they have to offer there. It's a fun experience. It's a neat part of being a Nicaraguan. It'll help make you a part of the local experience because then it's like, oh yeah, no, when I was in Massatepe getting furniture, this is, and the people are like, yeah, that's that's what we do, like, cool. Uh, and it's, uh, it's something that I recommend. And of course, the whole Pueblos Blancos experience is really cool. And I know some people who live out there and really like the area. Like it's, it's really a viable option uh, for expats, but a very difficult one to talk about because it's like, well, you have a selection of, I don't know, 20 little villages. They're all pretty nice, but none of them like stand out in some really specific way. So it's hard to really talk about them. We're definitely going to do some videos about that. Uh, I'd love to get out and spend a lot of time in the Pueblos Blancos, but it takes a lot of time uh, to travel around and do that stuff. And as I said, I don't have a driver's license right now, so that makes it that much harder. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Thank you for the question. All everyone else, get down, ask new questions, leave comments, make videos, all that stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Links are all over the place and on the screen and all that. And as always, share on social media. Just take the link from the episode, post it on a few different things, send it to some friends, tell some family about the show, and I will see all of you tomorrow. And hopefully if it works, four videos are up on the screen. Pick one and tell the algorithm that this was a great show that you enjoyed.